tigers are one of the most widely known animals in the world. They appear in many ancient myths and folklore legends, modern movies and various media. You can see their patterns in many flags, coats of arms, and even sports mascots. They are endemic to Asia. They are distributed in a very wide range. Forests, grasslands, and tropical swamps all have their traces. Their territorial concept is very strong, they will divide their own territories and live alone. Accompanying this fact is that its preference for habitat overlaps with some densely populated areas on the Earth, leading to serious conflicts with human interests. Of the nine subspecies of modern tigers, three are extinct, and the remaining six are classified as endangered and some are critically endangered. At the beginning of the 20th century, there were about 100,000 tigers but now WWF estimates that there are only 2,450 tigers in the world. Although the remaining tigers are protected by the governments, illegal hunting is still repeated. The tiger's habitat must meet three basic conditions. First, must have enough animal resources for them to hunt. Second, there must be sufficient water sources for them to take a bath when they are hot and drink water after they are full. Third, there must be enough trees or grass to hide. If the above conditions are not complete, it will not only be detrimental to tigers hunting, it's also detrimental to their avoidance of all natural enemies of wild animals, humans. In 2010, the BBC film crew discovered that tigers live in the Himalayas of Bhutan at an altitude of 4,100 meters, which is the highest altitude ever found for tigers. It also confirmed that they can live and reproduce in high-altitude areas. Tigers, like lions, are the only two big cats. The lifespan is generally 20 to 25 years. The wild individual can be up to 3.38 meters long and weigh 388.7 kg. Tigers have a better memory than any other animals, including humans. They have powerful brain synapses, so their short-term memory is about 30 seconds longer than humans. They have both keen hearing and night vision. The tiger's iris is yellow and the pupils are round, except for the blue eyes of the white tiger. The night vision of a tiger is six times that of a human being like a lion, because there is a special film behind the retina called an optic blanket, which can enhance the stimulation of the retina by reflecting incident light, thereby improving night vision. This is also the reason why the tiger's eyes glow at night. Their ears are particularly sensitive to high-frequency sound waves, up to 70 kHz, and both ears can be steered with a source of sound waves. In the forest, the tiger can hear sounds from 2 kilometers away. In addition, the tiger's tail is relatively long, composed of 25 to 30 tail vertebrae, about 1 meter in length, about half of the body length, and has ring markings. The long tail allows them to maintain balance and control steering when running at high speeds. You can also judge their state and mood by observing the performance of the tiger's tail. The tip of the tail is upturned and trembling, accompanied by a low roar that represents the alert state, while the tail swings gently and accompanied by the nasal sound of spray indicates friendly. In addition, tigers have a hellish roar, which is very loud. This roar can be heard from about 3.22 kilometers away. There is another secret weapon. They produce a low-frequency and heavy bass roar. Even if humans cannot hear it, this deadly sound is it is a combination of the effects of piercing the eardrum and sharp roar, which will paralyze humans instantly. In addition to their large size and powerful muscles, their most notable feature is the unique black vertical stripes on the white to orange fur, which can be integrated with the grass background, which conceals their own protection during hunting. The markings on each tiger's face are different, similar to human fingerprints. Investigators can judge different individuals based on this, and they have very famous heterochromia, the white tiger. The Bengal white tiger is a variant of the Bengal tiger. Due to genetic mutations but not albinism, the original orange-yellow-black striped hair of the Bengal tiger turned into black striped white. Tigers who really suffer from albinism will not have stripes on their bodies. 
The white tiger's fur is very light milky white with dark brown stripes. The eyes appear transparent and colorless in the sun, and light blue in the backlight. The first wild white Bengal tiger was discovered and captured in India in 1951 and was named Mohan. The hundreds of white tigers in the world are all its descendants. It is known that only the Bengal tiger has the above recessive gene. But many white tigers raised in captivity are a mixture of Bengal tiger and a Siberian tiger. This is because the gene pool is limited. The offspring of a pair of white tigers often have many health problems, such as strabismus weak resistance, etc. Which leads to the need for extra care, but most individuals in human captivity can meet this condition. The tiger is the top predator and rarely rivals in its habitat. When they encounter a prey, they will lie down, look for cover, slowly dive close, and when the prey enters the attack range, they will fly and attack the back. The tiger will first grab the back of the prey with its paws and drag it to the ground, then use sharp canine teeth to bite the throat of the prey to suffocate it, and then let go until the prey dies. This attack method is also the most typical attack method for cats. They are opportunists. They are not too picky as long as they have food. Most animals are also on their menu. In some areas, such as the Northeast, tigers even hunt bears due to overlapping habitats. Tigers will imitate the calls of other animals to attract bears' attention. But to help digestion, they occasionally gnaw a bit of grass. During the hunting process of tigers, if they encounter the same species and are also capturing the same prey, they will share the hunting results. Even, male tigers often wait until female tigers and cubs join before they start eating. Tigers have always been one of Asia's top five prey. In countries where tigers are distributed, there has been a long tradition of hunting tigers to obtain fur, tiger bones, and organs. Hunting this big cat has become a symbol of strength and courage. However, the real systematic study of tiger hunting as a topic began at the beginning of the last century. At that time, there was tiger hunting fever in India, and various introductions and monographs on tiger hunting were published one after another. This movement was recognized and respected by the British and the Indian colonies and the princes and aristocrats of the pre-independence Indian states. There was a trend in hunting circles in Europe and the United States. It seemed that anyone who had not participated in tiger hunting was not considered a big hunter. There was a similar trend among Indian princes and nobles. But after World War II, this trend ceased. After the war, the tiger hunting movement was revived, but the momentum has not been as good as before. If you meet a tiger into the wild, you must not panic when you are at a warning distance from the tiger. Retreat slowly, not expose your back to the tiger, and then slowly expand the distance from the tiger. Tigers like to ambush their prey. Looking at the tiger is like telling the tiger that you know its location, which reduces the likelihood of the tiger launching an attack. If you lower your head or squat down, the tiger will think you are like the prey it usually preys, and then prepare to eat. If you run, the tiger will also increase your confidence in subduing you and will pounce on you. What you can do at this time is to hold your head with your arms. Protect your neck, minimize the tiger's damage to your body, and call for help. Then we'll see if anyone can save you. If there is no one to save you, I hope that the tiger is vegetarian today. As for the encounter between the tiger and the lion, who's stronger? The next episode will be a battle between them.